Hey there, welcome back on another XSplity FPS tutorial. If you're getting the van, restriction. Two error in Valorant. Even though secure boot, TPM, and virtualization are enabled, don't worry, I've got you covered. This error usually pops up after a few minutes in the game, then forces you out with a message saying, secure boot verification failure. Even if secure boot is enabled, the issue can persist due to incorrect BIOS settings, outdated firmware, or conflicts within Windows 11 version 24H2 in this case. In this video, I'll walk you through the most effective fixes, from checking your BIOS settings properly to updating your system, ensuring your game runs without issues. Follow along carefully and let's fix this error step by step. Solution number one, double check secure boot status in Windows. Even if you enabled secure boot in BIOS, Windows might still not recognize it properly. To verify this, press Windows plus R, type MSINFO32, and hit Enter to open System Information. Look for Secure Boot State on the right side. If it says off, Secure Boot isn't working correctly. If it says on but you still get the error, move on to the next fix. Solution 2. Re-enable Secure Boot in BIOS properly. Sometimes, Secure Boot doesn't apply correctly. To make sure it's set up properly, restart your PC and press the BIOS key, usually F2, F10, F12, or delete, as soon as your PC turns on. Look for Secure Boot in the Boot or Security tab. If Secure Boot is disabled, enable it. If it's already enabled, disable it first, save changes, restart, then enable it again to refresh the setting. Also, make sure your boot mode is set to UEFI instead of Legacy. Save changes and exit BIOS. Fix 3. Check if Windows boot mode is in UEFI Valorant requires secure boot to be in UEFI mode. To confirm this, open system information again by pressing Windows plus R, typing MSINFO32, and hitting Enter. Find BIOS mode on the right side. If it says UEFI, you're good. If it says Legacy, you need to reinstall Windows in UEFI mode, as secure boot won't work otherwise. Fix 4. Update your BIOS firmware. An outdated BIOS can prevent secure boot from functioning properly. To update it, check your motherboard model by typing WMAG baseboard get product in the command prompt. Now visit the official website of your PC or motherboard manufacturer. Look for the latest BIOS update under the support download section and download it. Follow their instructions to update your BIOS carefully. Mostly, you will find a complete guide tutorial on the BIOS download page. Watch it carefully. Fix 5. Reset TPM and secure boot keys in BIOS. Warning, this may remove Windows PIN login. If TPM, Trusted Platform Module, keys or secure boot keys are corrupted, Valorant might still fail secure boot verification. Resetting them helps refresh these security settings. But be aware that clearing TPM may remove your Windows Hello PIN and require you to log in using your Microsoft account password. Enter BIOS again. Locate the TPM Trusted Platform Module option, sometimes labeled as PTT for Intel or FTPM for AMD. Select Clear TPM and confirm the reset. This may remove stored login credentials like your Windows PIN. Look for Secure Boot Keys and select Restore Factory Defaults. Save changes and restart your PC. Why this matters. Clearing TPM and resetting. Secure boot keys ensures that any corrupted security settings don't interfere with Vanguard's verification process. However, be ready to use your Microsoft account password if your PIN login stops working. If you use BitLocker, ensure you have your recovery key backed up before proceeding. Fix 6. Repair Vanguard and Valorant. If everything is configured properly and you still get the error, Vanguard might be corrupted. Open command. Prompt as administrator and run the following commands one by one. 1. SC. Delete VGC. Paste it and press enter. And after that, 2. SSC. Delete VGK. Once both commands done. Restart your PC. Open Riot Client, go to Settings and then Valorant. Now look for Repair button to reinstall Vanguard properly. These commands completely remove Vanguard and let the Riot client reinstall a fresh copy, which helps fix issues caused by corrupted anti-cheat files. After following these steps, you should no longer see the van. 
restriction to error. If you are still experiencing issues, the last resort would be to reinstall Windows in UEFI mode as secure boot won't work in legacy mode. Let me know in the comments if any of these solutions worked for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more fixes.